Hi, this is Leland Fly Fishing. Welcome to Fly Time tonight. I'm Brandon Moon. Tonight we're going to be tying up a variation of a parachute Adams. This is one of our favorite patterns to tie and fish. We love this variation as it's not quite 100% true to form, but very fast, effective, and aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started today. The hook we're going to be using is the Moonlit Premium Tagata ML102 Standard Forge Dry Fly Hook. We'll start our thread, which is Semperfly Classic Wax 12 aught in Steel Gray at the 3 quarter mark. And we're just going to lay a nice good thread wrap base using that tag end to help create a nice smooth even wrap with everything going next to each other. Now we're going to take some fiery brown semper fly tailing fibers and I just want two fibers on here. We'll snip those out. We want them to be nice and even. So once we've got those we're going to measure them out to be just about the length of the hook shank just a little bit longer. If you're going to air one way or the other make sure that they're just a little bit longer because you can always shorten them but you can't lengthen them. Once I've given it a good couple wraps, I'm going to make sure and pull it so that it's sitting on the top of the hook shank. I can shorten it just like I do right here just a little bit. Another wrap or two just to secure that down. Now where this is a synthetic material, I'm going to use my fingers to help separate the tail. And then I'll take my tag end of thread and I'm going to place it right back up in between the middle of that where I'll then take my thread and secure it down. The tighter I pull, the more it's going to pull those tailing fibers up. You get a nice good split tail there. Once we've secured that down with a couple wraps, we'll lift it up, trim it out at that three quarter mark where we started. And then we'll just take and finish creating the underbody again and securing down those fibers. From here, I'm going to use medium done poly yarn from Semperfly. You can use any color you want. I split it in half because it's a little thick for a size 14. And I'm just going to lay that over the top, two loose wraps, and then I'm going to lock it in place in front and back. I do the loose wraps because if I pull that poly yarn up and I need to maneuver it, I can, but I want to make sure I keep my proportions at that three quarter mark. I'll trim out any unnecessary poly yarn just so that I can wrap and work with the material easier. And I'm just going to start wrapping up the post here. I don't want to make a really tall post, but I'm going to go probably about a good eyes hook eye to two eye eye and a half up this post so that I can get a good three wraps of hackle once I've got this body done. I'll trim out any of these poly yarn fibers that are just kind of in the way so that I don't get them in the way when I go and wrap my body material up. We'll go just about to the back of the body where I'm then going to take two wraps or th underneath and then a third wrap I'm going to go in between and that's just going to help splay these out and push and hold the tails up nice and vertical. Now we're going to take some Magpie Premium Wild Barb Turkey Biots and we're going to take the Gray Drake, awesome awesome color. We'll make sure it's moistened and tie that in with the ridge point down towards the bottom of the hook. We'll now create a nice good taper to our body with some thread wraps going forwards and backwards. And this just gives us a nice even taper to the body of this fly. More so for me than for anybody else, a Parachute Adams is kind of a slender bodied fly a lot of times anyways. I'm going to half hitch this here just in front of the post and then I'm going to lay it off to the side so that I can wrap my turkey by it. I'm going to take my Loon Ergonomical Hackle Pliers and I'm going to take and secure that down and I'm going to wrap and manipulate that bayet to make sure that the ridge of that bayet is facing the back side. And that gives me the nice segmented and even spaced ridge ribbing to this fly. I'm going to wrap all the way up into the post 
and that's because when I tie this off it's going to tie off just back behind there and that's going to help make sure that I've got that body up far enough. We'll go over the top of it two or three times in front one time and that's just going to lock it in place. Place our thread off on the bobbin rest again so that when we snip out our by it, it's not going to snip our thread. Now I'll just finish securing down that by it. I'm going to take some dark bar ginger th hackle here and I've already prepped it you can see. I've got a, a little bit, about a three quarters of a wrap of bare stem. And I want to tie this in so that the, the shiny side's facing me. If it, if it rotates on you, just move it back. I do a couple loose wraps over the top and then I'm going to pull it up. And then I'll take and secure that first wrap. Once I get that first wrap around the post, I'm good. And we'll just wrap that up to the top of that post that we've created there and then back down. Okay, now I'm going to take some new Moonlit Beaver Dubbing in Natural. I've already removed the guard hairs for a dry fly. Guard hairs make a good buggy look for a nymph pattern or a soft tackle, but we're doing a dry fly. So I'm going to take a nice small bit of this beaver dubbing which is awesome to dub with but it's also very buoyant one of nature's most buoyant natural dubbings that you'll find I'll create a nice small thin dubbing rope on my thread there with this dubbing and then I'm going to create my thorax forwards and backwards I want to create a nice even thorax and I want to cover my post and everything so it looks good. I'll end my dubbing right there on the side in back side of my post. I'm then going to wrap three wraps of my dub my hackle going down that post. I'll secure it down with a wrap over the top. I'll take some Loctite super glue with the brush here and I'll apply a nice small little bit of glue on there and quickly put it away so that it doesn't dry out. Then I'll take over the top and do a wrap underneath. I'll do another wrap and then back over the top one more time. I like at least two, mostly three wraps on these. Then you can see I'll just kind of cinch it down. We'll take a razor blade, trim out the thread, and then we'll take and trim out with the same razor blade our hackle. This gives us nice clean cuts on both the hackle and the post, or and our thread. We'll trim out our post, make sure that we don't have any fibers that are out of place. And there you have the parachute atoms. Thank you for watching.